This tutorial will show you how to learn what a library database is, learn how to get to a database, and understand why you might want to use an individual database versus discovery search. Your professor has asked you to find academic or scholarly articles for a research paper. Where do you look first? Wikipedia and websites are not scholarly sources and may contain unreliable information. Google may locate academic articles, but it can be hard to find relevant results, and you may be asked to pay for access to the full text of the article. The Purchase College Library catalog contains records for books, music scores, DVDs, and CDs, but not for individual academic articles. To find academic articles, you will need to use a library database. Library databases offer the best way to search for and find article citations from thousands of newspapers, magazines, and academic journals that you aren't likely to find available free on the web. Many library databases provide fast access to the full text of articles. Databases may also contain ebooks, book chapters, images, audio files, and videos. Maybe you've heard of JSTOR, EBSCO's Academic Search Complete, ProQuest Research Library, or Opposing Viewpoints. These are examples of general, multidisciplinary library databases. The library also subscribes to subject databases tailored to a specific academic discipline. These are great for in-depth research in a particular field. You can access library databases from anywhere. If you are off campus, you will be asked to log in. Your username is your first name dot last name, and your password is your purchase email password. There are several ways to get to library databases from the library's homepage. You can view an alphabetical list of all the databases to which the library subscribes. You can choose a subject area. Or you can use the Discovery Search box. Discovery Search is a mega database. It searches a bunch of individual subject databases, plus the Purchase College Library catalog, all at once. Discovery Search does not search everything in the library's collection, but it searches a whole lot of books, music, films, journals, and academic journal articles. Sometimes Discovery Search might give you too many results or results that aren't specific enough. As you deepen your research, you will want articles that are specific to your topic. Individual subject databases are tailored to specific disciplines such as art history, biology, economics, literature, psychology, and others. Subject-specific databases are especially useful for doing in-depth research. Use the Research by Subject guides to learn which databases are best for each academic discipline. Know which database you want? Use the Database by Title list to choose from an alphabetical list of all the library's databases. Each library database looks a little different, but they are all basically the same. They let you search for keywords and limit your search by date, publication, and resource type. You can even limit your results to academic journals to retrieve only scholarly, peer-reviewed articles. Library databases also provide access to the full text of thousands of articles. And databases can help you save and organize your research. Look for options that allow you to save, print, cite, or email an article to yourself. Remember, if you need help finding academic articles in library databases, you can always ask a librarian.